Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is a haul. And it is a, a haul from many different places. Just a few things from each place, but it's, you know, I've been collecting things for a couple of weeks here. So I have a haul, let me see if I can name them all here. <laughs> from Pitberry Barn, Vera Bradley Outlet, uh, Clinique, Amazon, Craft Outlet, Kohl's, and Target. I think that's it. Oh my goodness. And as I said, it's not a lot of things from any one place, but uh, you know, I wanted to go ahead and bring this stuff to you. <laughs> so let's get started. <laughs> let's start with the Pitberry Barn. How about that? One of my very favorite online stores on the planet, you guys. As you all know, I use a lot of Pitberries in my decor. And this time I'm getting fixing to do my patriotic, as you know and I wanted some patriotic or Americana. Let me put it that way, Americana pit berries. And I'm not even sure exactly where I'm gonna be using these things, but I, you know, I did want enough that I could put them here and there, cut them apart if necessary, or use them as garlands. So I got three garlands. I got three garlands like this of just Pip berries. I wanted to tell you the difference and show you actually the difference between their regular berry garland, Pip Berry Garland. This is called Country Primitive Americana Berry Garland. And as you can see, it's got kind of burgundy cream and blue in it. And it is, I don't remember how long, 55 inches long maybe, I wanted to say. I'll flash it up there. But, uh, so this is just one of their regular berry garlands. This costs $21.99. They no longer charge shipping at their place, at the pitberrybarn.com, but they did raise their prices a little bit, which is, which is fine to cover the cost of the shipping. So it's always free shipping there now. Uh, but this is a berry garland. I wanted to show you the difference. And so I got three of these. And then I got one cream mixed berry garland. And these, I'm, put, I'm sorry, I put it down here on the floor. These are more expensive, the mixed berry garland. As you can tell, they're bigger and uh, much fuller. I mean to tell you, these are just absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if I can pull it out for you a little bit. And I'll put the length of these on. I, I wanna say 55 inches, I could be wrong. But these are huge. These, I have mixed berry garlands on my, not, a, not just cream ones, I can't remember, farmhouse something or another, on my staircase. Those are all mixed berry garlands. Now this berry garland, as you can see, it is big and flouncy and gorgeous. It did cost $31.99 though, $32 for one. But for me, it's worth it. I use it over and over and over and over again in my decor. So, but I did wanna show you the difference between a regular berry garland and their mixed berry garland. They are much different. You know, this is big and full, and this one is lovely, but it's not as full and big. So I thought I should show you the difference in the two garlands that they offer from the pickberrybarn.com. Pick Highly recommend them. Customer service is unsurpassed, but it is, they're also shipped within a timely fashion. It doesn't take forever. It could take three or four days, you know, to get to you, depending on where you are in the country, you know. But uh, it usually takes to me. They're from Illinois, okay. Antioch, Illinois. So go to their website, check them out. They have more than just pit berries. They've got 
uh, rings, Pipberry rings. They've got Pipberry sprays. Uh, they've got no, uh, mini lights, I think, and I can't remember everything, but go to thepipberrybarn.com. Scrolling it across there for you. Awesome, awesome, awesome merchandise, you guys. I would not steer you wrong, and no, I am not sponsored by them. <laughs> I'm not. I just love their product and have been touting their product for several years since I got on YouTube here and before in my blog. <laughs> So, you know, try them out. If you like pit berries, I encourage you to. They're wonderful. Wonderful to work with and a great product. So, so that's what I got from thepipberrybarn.com. Let's skip over here to Target since I have these sitting right in front of me and they're kind of in my way. I went to, Kristen and I went shopping at Target. And she always gets like her kids, her, she teaches kindergarten. For those of you, Kristen is our oldest daughter and she teaches kindergarten. And she is always going into the dollar sp Target dollar spot looking for games, for interactive games for her little children's. And so she was buying up a bunch of stuff and I'm standing there and I'm looking and I'm like, well, look at these. These are cute. I could certainly use these. I got three little pedestal plates. They were $5 each, but aren't they cute? Can't you see something sitting up on top of that and or, or up in a tray somehow? I think it's pretty. So I got one in teal. I got one in pink. Just trying to show you everything on it. One in pink and then one in just clear. I thought, wow, I can certainly use these, do the Target dollar spot. Now it's been a couple weeks ago, so I'm not sure if your Target will have them, but it might be worth a peek. <laughs> so I got those from Target. That's what I got from Target. That was my the, the sum and total of my Target haul. What else did I get there? I, I helped her buy some of her stuff for her kids. I always try to, you know, we're at the register and I'm like stealing stuff off of her pile. Mom, mom. I said, give me that. Give me that. I'm going to buy that and I'm going to buy that for your child. I always buy her kids something. Even if it's just a big bag of snacks for her to give them or, you know, games or something. I always try to contribute every year to her, to her classroom, you know, because these teachers, they don't get a lot of money. <laughs> so I try to help her. So I was like grabbing this and grabbing that. And of course she took all that with her. So I don't have that to show you, but they were some cute games that she bought for them. So any teachers out there, check out your Target dollar spot. That might be a good place for you to check for some for some interactive games for your stations or whatever, you know, so. So that was Target, and then Kohl's is just about as big, not much from Kohl's, but I did wanna show you, these were really, some really cute little cheap shoes. And I did order up a size, I did order size nine. I tried them on in the store. Chris and I had a bunch of Kohl's cash to spend, you know, and we never like to let that go to waste, to be honest with you. I feel like we're throwing away money, you know? So we did get me a pair of black ones and a pair of white ones. And they're pretty comfortable. Now, I got them home. I tried them on the store. I was like, oh, these are gonna be great. They're gonna be really super comfortable. I love them. But uh, they say they have memory foam in them. And, and that's true, It's they're kind of cushy, you know, and pretty soft but they're cutting me in the heel. I've got a narrow heel though, so maybe that's why. I'm gonna have to put a little Band-Aid on my heel until I get them, you know, worn in a little bit. But they are comfy cozy, really cute, super cute for spring and summer, you know? And I like a white shoe, y'all. I really like a white shoe. I don't wear a lot of, I don't wear any heels anymore, to be honest with you. For one thing, I'm really tall, and Chris is not all that much taller than me, and I have a problem being taller than my husband. I don't like being taller than my husband. Although I think I've shrunk, and he looks a lot taller than he used to. <laughs> Beside me, you know. So, but I wear flats mostly all the time. I love to see high heels. I love, I used to wear them. I used to work uh, in Falls Church, Virginia every day, and would go into an office. I was an executive secretary there, and I, I love dressing up, you know, I always, regardless, regardless, that was my, I, I, that was my Kohl's order. My two pairs of little pairs of shoes. And I, you know what, y'all, I don't remember how much they were. I want to say 
I might see if I can find it and flash it up for you, but I, I'm telling you, as sure as I'm sitting here right now, I do not remember how much we paid for these. It wasn't a lot. Speaking of shoes, though, let me skip on over here to Amazon. And again, I had to uh, order up a size only because I read the uh, reviews. And I bought a pair of navy blue, uh, here you go, navy blue flats to go with my little jumpsuit, you know, for my cruise. And I wanted patent leather. I wanted to get patent leather. And I just thought, I found these cheap, you guys, cheap. But I have these in navy blue, and then I'm actually wearing, if I can get the other one up here. Um, actually, this is the color blue I ordered the, at first, and I was like, no, that's not quite what I need for my jumpsuit. I needed this. So they were cheap enough that I could go back in and order these. Are they comfortable? From the very first moment I put them on my feet, I'm like, oh, my land, I'm wearing them in black too. I'm telling you, you guys, they are super comfortable. I got these after I got these. If I had had these before these, I wouldn't have bought these. I'm telling you. So, you know, I, these are comfortable. These are comfortable, don't get me wrong. But these are even more comfortable. So comfortable. So I got these in navy blue. I'm fixing to order them in black too. They have, a, in red, they have an array of colors. They've got them in red and I don't even know what all green, like a green. And they've got a, they've got the, you know, they are not, I mean, these already have a little scratch, not this one, but they, it has a little scratch on the side. They are not probably gonna hold up very well, <laughs> but boy, they are comfortable and, you know, I love them, I love them. So I'm gonna order me a pair of black ones, actually. I just remembered that I wanted to do that. So, uh, but I love them, I love them. From Amazon, Fever Soul. For the love of shoes. It's got, these are dirty on the bottom. It's got 40. These are size nine. So it's got 40. So they must, must have been made in Europe and Amazon is selling them. I don't know. Super comfy though, you guys. I promise you. <laughs> and then I wanted to show you this cute little bag I got from the Vera Bradley outlet. You guys, I cannot give you a link for this here in this video. The next time that they have an outlet come available, I will put it in my community post. Uh, and you'll see me, for those of you who've hit the bell, you know, and are subscribed to me, you'll see me post it. Uh, but this Vera outlet is an awesome little perk to be able to go into every now and again. Now, you're not going to be getting the newest versions, the newest patterns in Vera, but uh, the ones that are retired, if you don't mind doing that, you can get them. They're usually, you're selling them for about 40% off. And then when you go to the register, go to checkout, you get another 30% off. It's free shipping, no matter how much you order, how little you order every time. So I got me this cute little crossbody bag. And this is a mini hipster, I believe. It's a mini hipster. In this, I love this pattern. I believe it's called Vines. Uh, but has a little pocket in the front and it's got like credit card slots in there that's big enough to fit a passport for those of you you know who travel that's big enough to fit a passport or there's a, a pocket in the back for your phone your phone fits down in there and then it has a zip on the top again have a zipper inside no zipper inside Super comfortable to carry though. I have another one. I know that I, I have another pattern in this bag. So I've carried this on vacation and on excursions. For those of you who cruise and go on excursions, this is the perfect little bag if you don't want to have to worry about be carrying anything else, but you need your, you know, you need your passport or you need your license and you need a little bit of money and you need a little lipstick, a little tissue, you know, perfect, perfect for that. Mini Hipster from the Vera Bradley Outlet. Once you guys see it and sign up for it though, then you'll be getting your emails. So the next time it comes available, I promise you I will give you a link in the uh, in my community post uh, and so that you can go to the Vera Bradley Outlet if you like Vera Bradley, which I do. I love Vera Bradley. It's not, I don't carry a lot of purses though. I just really like this pattern. I thought this was really super cute. So. I usually do their travel bags, you all know, so.
I love it. So that was my Vera Bradley outlet. <laughs> then I had to make a, a quick order from Clinique because I needed a few things. Literally needed a few things. Cl Cl Clinique is always nice. It comes nicely wrapped every time. You can see I've already opened it up and looked in it. This is like a little sticker from Clinique. I've worn Clinique forever, forever and ever and ever and ever. Y'all always that. Well, y'all saw my "Get Ready with Me" video. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you a few, a couple things. I didn't get a lot. I did get some freebies here. I think I had mentioned that I purchased this lip pencil. Uh, A little sharpener which was it was cheap it was not expensive but the one that we have out here that Chris sharpens his pencils with I wanted one for myself so I just ordered one from them so I thought it was real cute so I got that and then I got to see quick liner for lips this is what I ordered I wanted my quick liner for lips oh, no this is a, a term this is a roll-up it's the color I use though and the color is plummy. The color is 07. My glasses are so dirty, I can't even see through them. I'm like, let me look past the dirt on my glasses here. Plummy is what it's called. And you can see it is super pretty. And you roll it, oops, sorry. Come on, focus phone, there we go. You roll it up. And it goes on so smooth and nice, you guys. It really does. So I got me some more lip liner and I can use my pencil sharpener to use the rest of my pencil one. So I got that. Okay, then I got me some more eyeshadow. Remember I said I was low? So I ordered myself some new eyeshadow and this is Teddy Bear 01. You see how it comes packed? It's so pretty. Very, very nice. And here we go. It even shows you how to put it on your eyes if you want there. A little tutorial. <laughs> so boy, I needed this. I was out of the, out. This, these are the two I use all the time. This one and this one. And then sometimes I'll put that right along my bone there this lighter caramel color, but these are two. I hardly ever use the real dark. Sometimes if I want to do a smoky eye, which I don't even know how to do really, <laughs> I'll use the darker. Isn't that pretty? So I got those. Those are the three things that I ordered. And with those three things, I got, I got four free gifts. This is quick liner for eyes but this is not the color that I use. This is a, let me see if I can see the color. They didn't, they only gave you the choice of one. I didn't have the choice to choose this. This is Intense Ebony. It was kind of a black. So I could try it. I usually use the slate, but I could try it. I don't know, we'll see. So I got that eyeliner. I got I me, mean, this is the ex perfect for me to travel with, because this is what I use, the High Impact Mascara. I use this all the time, every day. I love it. Not that I'm a really good salesperson for makeup, you guys. <laughs> and they gave me a lipstick. I, I'll give this away to one of my kids. They like lighter colors. I, I wouldn't like this. I would feel like my lips were, um, uh, it's too pink for, or it's too rosy for me. It looks like the color of my skin, so I wouldn't really look like there would be much contrast. So to be honest with you, and I didn't have a choice of the color either. This color is called Nude Pop. Well, I don't like the Nude Pop. I like the Raspberry Pop or the Berry Pop. I've got some other pops too that y'all have seen, but I don't, I don't care for that. And then I got two-in-one cleansing. This would be perfect, light makeup remover. This will be perfect to take on trips too, a little bit of uh, makeup remover, so you don't have to take the big fat, you know, bottle. So, like you can 
even see what it says. It says it is two in one cleansing my my clear gel light makeup remover. I've never used this, so I don't know. I'll try it. So there we go. That was my gift. Those were my gifts. These three things. Well, four things. I got more gifts than I purchased products. They're really good with that, Clinique is. So that's what I got from Clinique. That is my total order from Clinique. <laughs> and what do I have left? Oh, I have one thing, one place left to show you, and that's craftoutlet.com. I got me some ribbon, y'all. Like, I need more ribbon. I need more ribbon like I need a hole in my head. <laughs> but I love this patriotic ribbon. This is works up in some of the prettiest bows you will ever want to see. So I wanted to be sure to get a couple of more bolts of this. So I did get me two bolts. These were each $4.95, which is not a bad price, y'all. And it's nice ribbon, nice wired ribbon. And it is two and a half inches by 10 yards. It's a good bit of ribbon. You get a lot of funky bows out of just one bolt. But I wanted two, because I know I'm gonna be using it for years, years ahead, and years ahead. So I got those. And then I got some blue to pair with it. Just blue, plain blue. This is called Metallic Royal Blue, Royal Canvas Ribbon. This was $5.75. And it is two and a half inches by 10 yards. But look at that, it's kind of a, it's not a deco mesh. It's kind of like a, kind of like a, a, a cross between a linen and a burlap. Can you see that? Y'all, I'm shaking and I'm sorry y'all, I have to tell you, I have, I have been suffering with a migraine. If I seem a bit discombobulated and a bit out of sorts today, that's what's going on. I have got the worst migraine right here on my temple and it's going right across the top of my, or my forehead, y'all. And I told Chris, I said, I want to sit down and I want to get this video in the can and I am, I am hurting pup. I'm a hurting pup. So I'm really sorry, you guys. I'm really sorry if I seem a little bit discombobulated or I'm shaking. So that's, that's why. But anyway, this is pretty ribbon. Very, very, very pretty ribbon and pairs beautifully with this. And put a burlap with it. What a pretty like nine loop funky bow that will make, huh? Yes, so pretty. I got that. Then I got me some burgundy, Just two and a half by 10 yards. And it's kind of like a, kind of shiny almost, a little bit shiny. And it is wired. Very pretty. I bet you that'll make up into a beautiful, beautiful bow for sure. And then I got me some ticking. Now, y'all, I've gotten frustrated with the craft outlet. I've been waiting for their two and a half inch wide ticking to come back in. I love that's some of my very favorite ribbon. Right now I have it made up into my um, which I'm not even sure I'll be changing out. I might leave it like that for the patriotic too in my Then Sings My Soul lantern. Although I think I might have, that was the first, my first funky bow topper that I made for that lantern was in the patriotic and it may have been out of this ribbon. I can't remember what it was made out of, but anyway, I'll probably switch out to that. But anyway, I used the, the rest of my two and a half inch wide ticking on that lantern when I made that lantern. And I absolutely love it. I love how it works up. It's so versatile. I love ticking. They didn't have black, or they didn't have red. They didn't have black. They didn't have blue. None of them. None of the ticking in the two and a half inch. So I've been watching them like a hawk, and when they come back in, I'm going to order me up some. Just because I know it's a nice staple uh, ribbon for one of my funky bows. In the meantime, i will sure I'll find places to put this. But I did get this just in case I wanted to use it, you know, somewhere. So... See, I can also pair it with the burgundy. It's not so red that it, it looks, it would look bad with that. It would look pretty. I think, alrighty, you guys, I think that'll be about it for this one. Oh my goodness. What a discombobulated mess I've been in this one, huh? I'm so sorry. 
you know, that's what I get for trying to uh, do something like this with, with a daggum headache. But anyway, I bring you myself and everything, warts and all, and my goodness, I do sometimes get these headaches. Not as often as I used to. Uh, my mama was a migraine sufferer. I'm a migraine sufferer, and my girls are migraine sufferers. You know, it's definitely gone right down the family. Uh, my moms, though, were the worst of all of us. She was on prescription medication, and it would put her, her headaches would put her in bed. She would get off of work. She was a teacher at 3 o'clock on Friday, and there were many weekends where she spent Saturday in bed with a migraine and get up for church on Sunday morning and go back to bed Sunday afternoon and get back up for church on Sunday night. You know, so it was... She suffered for many, many years with, with migraines, and I refused to take prescription medication for mine and thankfully mine have never been so bad where I could not control them even though I look like I'm out of control today I couldn't control them with I could control them with Advil uh, I feel for you guys out there who are migraine sufferers and, and and my migraines have gotten a lot better since I've gone through menopause they've gotten a lot better and I don't get them as much as I get them. When I do get them, I remember how intense they are, you know. I used to get like one a month, y'all know. Mine were definitely, you know, like hormone induced, I guess. And I think that's why I don't get very many anymore because I'm, you know, I'm through menopause. And you know, you still, being a migraine sufferer, you're still gonna get them, you know. Regardless still... of all that, that's it for this one, you guys. I hope that everybody is doing well. I think coming up, is going to be a big, uh, I'm going to tell you all about my cruise. <laughs> I'm going to let you know how all of that went, and I'll give you a cruise report. Uh, probably next thing to go up will be my packing for my cruise, uh, because I did not get that up before we left. So, you know, uh, I will definitely put that up too, me definitely packing and showing how I utilize the packing cubes and the packing folders and how I, you know, split things up between the two colors of my cubes and my folders. And then I'll probably have a big deconstruction of uh, my spring at least in that room. In this room, I think I'm going to leave in these two rooms. I think I'm pretty much going to leave them as is y'all know i did this this hutch you know and i think i'm going to leave this i'll take the bunnies down from up there you know but i think i'm going to leave this as is it's pretty it's a pretty generic decor in here yes a little lighter than what i might like for the fall but you know and of course christmas but uh i don't think i'm going to recreate the wheel out here y'all but in there, I will be redoing the mantle and the hearth and the, you know, the cozy corner. And, you know, we'll go through a little decorating series here for sure with the patriotic. But I need to get all that stuff down and put away. And I really am kind of sad about it. I have really enjoyed this spring decor. I've really enjoyed it. It has been so light and airy and not a lot. And I'm going to try to keep up with that trend, not to over decorate, you know, which, you know, it's, it's kind of hard for me. <laughs> sometimes but you know not that I'm going minimalistic goodness gracious knows I'm not that but you know a little bit of uh sometimes less is more you know so anyway my head is just killing me here so I'm gonna shut up I just keep on rambling and and yammering and all that and don't y'all worry I am recording this way ahead of time by the time you see this I will be well and recovered from this <laughs> migraine so don't y'all worry your pretty heads I'll be fine you know this is just part of my everyday life sometimes you know so but anyway I'm gonna go probably lay down a little bit and try to rest my head so you know y'all ask me if I have chronic pain or or anything like that and I don't have chronic pain but when these hit me, you, you, this is, if you don't know a migraine sufferer and you hear somebody say, oh, I've got a migraine, just take a look at me today, y'all. Just take a look at me and how I am today. And I'm struggling through. Y'all can tell I'm struggling to get through this. And I probably should have waited till another day. But you know what? Then y'all couldn't see that I'm not, you know, that I'm a human being and that I go through ups and downs and, 
And uh, I always try to be upbeat. I am still being upbeat. It's not that. I'm just sitting here with my head throbbing, you know. So, anyway, regardless of all that, let me just say I hope that all is well with everyone. And I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.